Hi everyone, so today we're going to be covering the DiffDoc model on the Neurosnap platform. So if you don't know, Neurosnap is a platform that basically gives you access to a bunch of machine learning tools and services for molecular biology. And essentially what DiffDoc does is it's a molecular docking model that you would provide a protein like a receptor and a ligand file like some kind of drug or something else. And it will tell you whether or not the two are going to interact and what that interaction is going to look like. So in this example, what we're going to do is we're going to be covering the 5-HT2B receptor, which is one of the uh, serotonin receptors in the human body. And for the ligand, we're going to be using LSD. So what we're going to do is for the input structure, we're going to select the serotonin receptor PDB structure. And for the ligand, we're just going to provide an SDF file for LSD. The number of samples is set to 50 as a default, and this number is usually good enough. So now we're going to run the job, and the entire process should take uh, under 10 minutes. And we'll get back to you once we actually have the results. All right, so now we have the actual results. And overall, everything took about three minutes. And as we can see, all the different predictions are more or less localized around the same part of the protein, which means that the DiffDoc model is actually quite confident in this uh, you know, binding pocket in this particular interaction. Additionally, if we compare it to the 5-TVN experimental structure, we can see that the LSD molecule is in fact in more or less the same area, which is a very good sign. We can also toggle the surface. So when we toggle the surface, we can. this is useful for other proteins. For this particular example, the binding pocket itself is kind of hidden away by different parts of the protein, so it's not the most useful, but it is a cool setting to have. Additionally, we have different metrics that are produced by the model, as well as Autodoc Vena using the Smina implementation. DiffDoc by default outputs a confidence metric, and the higher this value, the better the prediction is usually. And Autodoc Vena has its own metrics. Another thing is we have this correlation metric, and the stronger the inverse correlation between the DiffDoc confidence and the affinity, minimize affinity, and minimize RMSD, the better. Intramolecular energy is also worth considering, but the inverse correlation or correlation between the other elements isn't as important. So in this case, we see that there is in fact a significant inverse correlation between the DiffDoc metric and the Smina metrics. So this tells us again that this is more or less a, a good prediction, and it's probably fairly accurate. And now that we have the experimental results, we, we kind of already know that it is accurate. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this has been the DiffDoc service on Neurosnap. We have a bunch of other services that you can also check out. So transcript assembly or protein structure prediction. If you want to see a different topic or different service covered next, feel free to leave a comment and we'll try our best to get to it.